Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I just want to show you guys how the most expensive house in the game, more specifically the view in the most expensive house looks during the regular world and then during the unmore world in the end game. For those who are curious, maybe you don't want to spend 300,000 gold to buy this house just for the view. So I want to show that to you. If you want to know how to get this house and all the other houses available in the game, I have another video. I'll put that link in the description. This video is just going to be about this 300,000 gold house in Bathal. So yeah, let's take a look. Here right now, this is the house. We are right now doing the regular world. And this is the view. So what you're looking at there, across is the volcanic island. You can see the path to the volcanic island and then in the background you have the big tower, the one that you go at the very end to meet the dragon. As you can see it is a nice view. I mean is it worth 300,000? Now I'm gonna switch to during the Anmore world. There is no longer day or night. It's just all red and instead you see the two beams on the sky. And I don't know, I'm pretty conflicted. I'm not sure which one I prefer more. Honestly, I think the view during the regular world is probably better. But this one has its own thing going on as well. The red sky, the beams, it does give it something hellish. Like this is the, the window to hell or something like that. Is it worth 300,000 gold for this, just for the view? I don't know, but I'll tell you this. I bought all the houses in this game. I think I spent over 500k in gold to get all the houses. And I still have a lot of gold left. I mean, I just started the Amor World. I haven't done any of the quests yet. And I still have 800,000 gold left. I mean, I'm, I'm a big saver, so... <laughs> So there's that as well. So if you're worried about gold and, and not wanting to buy the houses, I think I would say that, you know, don't worry so much about it. There are plenty of ways to earn gold in this game. I mean, I did some farming of uh, buying apples and grapes and then selling them in Bathal for like a 350 each. I did a couple of hours of that. So there is that as well. I searched for pawns that have quests and give you 10,000 gold for killing monsters and things like that. So I did a lot of those. And so there's plenty of gold to go around. So I wouldn't worry about it. I gotta tell you of the four houses, the one that I wouldn't buy is probably the 200,000 in Vernworth. I think that one is probably the least useful. This one, I think it's not too bad. The location is decent, like, especially if I'm coming from the volcanic island because this house uh, shows up first. So yeah, anyway, there you have it. Just a quick video showing you the differences in case you're wondering. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video.